two nerds travel to a film studio to wage war under the bright lights. The game is Grimdark Future by One Page Rules. It's a lean, fast-paced war game played with dice and a ruler. Goobertown Brent is playing the Saurian Star Host. These dinosaurs are the good guys. Mini Wargamer Dave is playing the Wormhole Demons, and they're here to spread havoc. It's game day, and the fate of this world is on the line. I'm coming for you, Brent. That's right. Dave may have played a lot of games, but he's never played Brent from Goobertown Hobbies. You're going down, Dave. Dave, why don't you put the first objective down? First one, outside of 12 inches, because that's the deployment zone. Yeah, I see your one and raise you two. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna go like this. Ah, I see your four and raise you the third objective. Yes. There we go. It's time to roll to see who deploys first. This is the first roll of the game. Yes. Let's go. Officially the first roll. I'm red. I am white. Six. Okay. Eight Lizards eight. go first. So I am going to start with a unit of geckos with energy shields. I'm gonna grab this chariot cannon. You're gonna have to be cognizant of the fact that there's like barrage fire coming your way. And so I've gotta figure out a way to take that out. I'm gonna put my leader on the table. This is a Saurian veteran on a Tyrannosaur. I have a unit of 10 blood warriors, and I'm also attaching the Great Harbinger of War to them. So I think that means they're both one unit now, and they're both in ambush. I think that's gonna be a defining feature of this game. It's gonna have to be dealt with one way or the other. I'm gonna come over here with a unit of Raptor Riders. I'm gonna start putting some more Saurians on the board. I have a spiked lizard now, and this does indirect fire with those rockets on his back. I have more geckos in the form of these snipers. Oh, I have gators. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you're finished. I'm going to proceed to deploy my scouting unit, because this is when they go. Yeah. Let's start with the beast riders. We got three of them. So with the scouting rule, it says that I can deploy them up to the 12 inch line, and then I can move them. Okay. On this objective. Already holding the objective. The hounds are gonna be a distraction. They need their snacks. They're gonna be barking. They're gonna have to be dealt with right away. Same thing as the beast riders. They get to move, move. I don't know a lot about what all of Dave's units do but my understanding is that the really big one that costs 720 points is probably a powerhouse. This is a massive monstrosity that's gonna instill fear in the eyes of the Brent. Last but not least, the soul demon. Yes. The one that tears up your soul. And there's gonna be fire and blood and skulls at your feet. How do you clean that up? That's my question for you. I mean, I guess I could play the objectives. That's, that's one option, but. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Deployment is done. It is time for turn one. It's turn one and I won the deployment roll, so I actually take first turn. Turn one plan, um, shoot and kill as many demons as I can. So I've been thinking about this, I'm moving my geckos, and I'm shooting with my geckos. Geckos are shooting the war dogs. Their shock pistols are surprisingly good if they can hit. Two, two shots, two hits. He was kind of slow to begin with, so he kind of deserved it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not bad for geckos. I'll say, like that was actually quite surprising with those pistols that have AP4. Okay, Beast Riders it is. Okay, I gotta measure out the danger zone. Oh, uh, okay. A few of my units are in the danger zone. Those Saurian Guardians? 
or Saurian Gordians. Saurian Gordians. They have big hammers, okay? But we like hammers more, so we're just gonna take them from you. They're gonna charge you. Good luck. So we're looking for four pluses here. <gasps> Only four, Brent. Okay, so I need a three up to defend against those hits. Oh, okay. So, good start. Oh, uh, that's a good start. Okay, good thing I spent a lot of time painting these guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the rule. That's the rule of the universe. All right, I tried to take off the three ugliest painted models. Um, do you have any more attacks? I got claws. Quality roll of four plus getting three. Okay, so I need four ups to save these guardians. Okay, they're dead. I just threw things forward and I loved seeing Brent's reaction to it. I didn't even know it was gonna happen. You're too smart, Brent. The only way I can fight you is with pure chaos. It's like, yeah, that's it. That's the only thing I got. I just learned that these old boys are very dangerous. So did I! I'm gonna do some point blank shooting with my snipers, I think. Whoa! Yeah. That all sounds right. violent. So they've got these snipers, they've got their, their sweet scopes on their rifles, and they're all just gonna be pointing at these giant demons coming right at them. So, twos to hit. Uh, yep, we got four hits. Normal defense is three, but now it's four because of your AP one, so one wound. All right, it is your activation, Dave. I feel like shooting you with this chariot cannon. I'm gonna move forward. Mm -hmm. I am able to move six and still shoot at something. First things first, let's see if my cannon is within range of those gecko snipers. Yes, they are, 30 inches. Excellent. We have two attacks, but they are blast three, which okay. means each one counts as three hits. Okay. And I'm hitting you on quality four, that's two. Okay, so I need sixes to save these little geckos. <gasps> oh, okay. One left. I saved one gecko. I lost mo half or more of that unit, and so we gotta take a morale test. And they are quality five plus. Oh, uh, this gecko is pinned, so next round can't really do anything. I gotta choose who I'm, who I'm using here. Um... You know what? We're gonna try out the missile pods on the gators. Gator missile pods. I love that set. Man. Yeah. Gators with missile <laughs> right? pods. This is why we do this. Gators with missile pods. That's right. Quality of four. Oh, three hits from missiles on the demon dogs. Okay, my defense four becomes a six. Yeah. No, that's uh, three dead doggies. Do you need to take a morale check now, Dave? <laughs> Uh, well, if you really want me to, like, I wasn't planning on it, but, you know. My Bloodhound's at a quality three plus, so does my Bloodhound. Yeah, he stayed. Huh. Well, okay. We're going to have to go with the Soul Demon. What right? does this guy do? He's not fast, but he can rush forward. So it's looking like Dave's trying to flank me, but what Dave also knows is that I'm trying to flank him. The Soul Demon is playing the objectives. You make it sound so wimpy. Oh. It's not what a cool soul demon would do. He's got a big axe. Can he, does he have a cannon? Is that? He does have a cannon. Okay, uh, I shouldn't have reminded you. All right, continue, continue. You are so right. It would be wrong. I am a terrible gamer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that, that's what a good friend does. Yeah. You are the good guys. It's, it, I am the good guys. I guess it's possible you could hold the objective and shoot something. And shoot All right, yeah, do what you gotta right. do. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Heavy war cannon, 12 <laughs> attacks, AP4. Are you ready for it? Well, who are you shooting? <laughs> Doesn't matter who I'm shooting. Who do you want to live the most is the question. Up to you, who are you shooting? Okay. Uh, you sh you want to shoot the pinned sniper so he doesn't shoot you next turn? Or turn three, I should say. Turn three, <laughs> yeah. What an awesome choice. Um, you know what I'm thinking? I don't like your geckos with pistols with AP4. I'm gonna shoot at them. They're fodder and I'm glad he's attacking them. It is 12 attacks. It's coming your way. I'm going to get you. My geckos will form a shield wall with their energy shields, giving Dave minus one to hit. Hitting on fours now instead of threes. I got three threes, that made a difference, see? Shield That's wall. Seven hits, Brent. Okay. There's a ch chance that this could be epic. Always a chance. But not this time. Epic is relative. I think that's epic. That cannon just mowed down this line of geckos. Blame their brothers. I saw what they're capable of, and that was a little bit scary. <laughs> I'm glad that you shot geckos instead of my raptor riders though, because I was scheming. Raptor riders are gonna charge. So they are fast, so they can do a 16 inch charge. We'll easily get to your bloodhound over there. And you'll get on the objective. So this is five raptor riders. 
do our impact hits first. That's six, you said? Six. This one Bloodhound has defense four. <gasps> he dead. Yeah, yeah, he's easily dead. Removing my poor hound. He got shot at by pistols. He got shot at by rocket pods. He survived all that. He survived his morale test, but right. yeah, that's just too many raptors to yeah. deal with. You know what? I'm actually done my turn. That's all the models, all the units I have to activate. Now it's all you. We both know that you've got some more stuff. We're waiting in the wormholes. Um, I'm liking how my flanking move is going. I'm worried about your flanking move with the soul demon. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> So you're rushing forward with I'm your guardians? I'm rushing forward forward with my guardians, so they get to move 12 inches, and I'm gonna really try to to hold down this objective point over support here. support those raptors. Don't worry about what I'm saying over here. Makes no difference. <laughs> okay, I'm, at, I'm gonna do all of it, but first I'm gonna use some indirect fire from my uh, spiked lizard here. Spiked lizard? Yeah, so these spikes coming out of his backs are not actual spikes, these are rockets. Yeah, oh yeah. Easily within range of your beast riders. Um, so, two attacks with the arch rocket at a quality of four. Two go through. Defense on my beast riders is three plus. We make them all. Okay. Well, the rockets did nothing. But wait, but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> these gators over here used their rocket pods, but these gators over here. Went to the market? Nah, they're charging. Oh, they went all the way home. So we got our gators in range. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. First off, bashing. All right. Six attacks, quality four. Four bashes go to you. Defense four. That kills that one yeah. beast rider right here. Now, that's it, right? No, what? no, no, no. These gators, yeah, they've got their bashing attack, but they've also got power knuckles. Okay, yeah. knuckle it up. Yep. Three. I make none. Three go through. Hooray. I don't have any beast riders anymore. His gators made fast work of that, but that's okay. There's only one thing left unactivated on the board. It is, of course, my Saurus veteran on Tyrannosaur. Grr. Yeah, we're, we're charging. And here I can, look, I can perfectly make it through this terrain. Yep. It fits, it fits. We got a power spear on this uh, this veteran. Mm -hmm. And so it's got an impact to Defense three. One goes through, he's down to two toughness left. What do you want first, the jaws, the stomp, or the, me jabbing with my power spear? Let's do the jaws, jaws is funnier. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll take the jaws. <laughs> it's got some big jaws. I painted all those teeth. It's actually got some mechanical teeth in addition to the, the biological. So six attacks with the jaw, and this is quality three plus. Okay, so five went through, that is AP two. I need sixes. I get two, I, I'm still dead. Tyrannosaur. Oh, I do that again. Tyrannosaur. Uh, that's the end of turn one. We ended that, uh, we ended that with the crushing jaws. Now I finished my activations in the first turn. You sure did. Which means I go first in the second turn. My understanding, yes. The biggest surprise for me was that soul demon and just completely obliterating those geckos with pistols. I am aware that in turn two, he's got some, some other units coming out of the wormhole and I have no idea what they're capable of doing. It's the start of turn two. Now here's the thing. I was the last person to activate a unit, so it's actually Dave's turn to activate a unit. I'm gonna be ambushing that Harbinger of War with the Blood Warriors. My, he's a big one. They can charge 12, plus they're fast. So they charge 16. Now, Dave actually helped me painting those uh, Saurian Raptor Riders last night. And so, really he's just killing his own units at this point. <laughs> Come on, threes and higher. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad, Brent. So that was the impact. Okay. Now for the actual attacks. What else you get? So I'm furious, uh -huh. which means I have one extra attack when I'm charging you. So quality two plus. 
Eight so far. Okay. Fifteen so far. Twenty-four. So I'll roll in sets of eight, because that's fun. Yeah, you got your little batches going. I got my little batches going. Batches of eight, I agree I need, with this. I need fives on these defense rolls. Do another batch of eight here, see if that hero can survive another. Oh no, he can't. He can okay. okay, all right. All right. So, all of the raptors are now off the board. My three remaining raptor riders and their hero veteran. All gone. All gone. Turn two. Let me tell you something. Those wormhole demons, they come out of the wormholes hard. I guess this is Rent's version of being tilted. Immediately lost five raptors. Immediately lost my veteran on raptor. All dead. Just just dead. Demons coming out of the wormhole. All right, it's going rough. Turn, turn two is off to a bad start. Bad, bad start. <sighs> but it's all relative. I think it's a good start. <laughs> My activation. I gotta turn on my inner gamer. See where we're going. Obviously, the soul demon is gonna be the scariest thing on the board until it's off the board. So we gotta get that soul demon out of here. Mm. Now, my crushing jaws did nice last turn. I was really happy with how those crushing jaws did. So we're gonna go ahead and charge the soul demon. So let's see how this goes. That's your biggest one. Yeah. That means he can actually do a bunch of damage here. I could die. Did a lot of damage to those riders, but we'll see how he does against the Soul Demon. He does have Will of the Gods, which gives him an extra AP on all his uh, all his attacks. But let's start the round. Take two impact hits at AP minus one. But it's minus what now? Minus one. So that means one goes through. I go from tough 18 down to 17. All right, and here I am sitting at tough 15. All right, it's okay. I got more weapons. Get okay, more weapons. Yeah. The Tyrannosaur itself is a weapon, and he's got those crushing jaws. So we're gonna do crushing jaws. We got six attack. Come on, Dino Jaws. I didn't agree to this. Take it. Okay. So I take some. You take three. Take three. Yep. What else you got? I think I get to jab with my spear. That's two attacks. Defense three, and we're good with a five and a six. Okay, I've got one last thing left. It's a stomp, yeah. and and it's a very large demon, so this is a foot stomp. This is a foot-on-foot -foot stomping act. So four attacks. That brings my defense to four, and that's what I need here on these dice, and one goes through. Yeah, I crushed one of your toes. Down to 13? Dinosaur stepped on your toe. Sure. All right, I'm tough 13 now. Okay, well, um, that's the end of combat, right, Dave? Uh, no, I'll attack you back. Oh. <laughs> I have a heavy war axe when I have 12 attacks with that, so I'm just going to uh -huh. throw this axe right uh -huh. at your riders. That's a fairly decent roll. That's eight hits. Okay. At AP4. <laughs> it's an appropriate response to this level. AP4, of I was so happy with my defensive two up. Okay. Ah, uh, so that's, I need sixes. I predict you'll get two. I got two. I also have stomp attacks. You know, we're comparing shoe sizes. I want to uh, show you my foot shoes. foot battle. Taking them out. How do you like them? Quality three. That is three hits with that. Okay, I need four ups. Oh. Hey. Fast feet on that Tyrannosaur, no stomp damage. That's right. Now, we got to resolve to see who won. Right, so I'm down to 13 from 18. I took five uh -huh. damage. I'm down to, I took six damage. So you lost technically. Hold on, do I cause fear? So do I. Oh, we both cause fear. So okay. We roll D3 each and we add it to our numbers. Is it D3? Okay. Yeah. So I have six plus yep. D3 is, oh, we have seven. All right, if I roll a five or a six, we tie in morale. Wait, hold on, no, we, we tie it. So I had six plus one, seven. You had five plus three. two. Five plus two, seven. We tie. Because you just rolled the two. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. We, we tied. tied him around. No the one The battle runs. continues. That's right. We're pretty evenly matched here. <laughs> All right. But that was your turn. You just charged me. Yeah, so it's your activation now. Uh, the chariot cannon is going to fire at something here. 
Maybe that spiked lizard back there. Long range Whoa. duel. Yeah. Spiked lizard's not scared. Incoming cannon barrage. I got one, but it's blast three, so that counts as three hits. Uh, one does go through. That's fine. He takes two points of damage on his tough six. All right. So he's at he's at four. Down to four. And on my activation, ah, uh, I get three attacks with my missile pods. Gator shooting missiles. One missile hit. AP two. Okay, so I need a six to save that, and I get a six. There is no death of the Blood Warrior. Oh, those rockets were not so good. Your turn to activate, Dave. Okay, well, I'm gonna go with my Soul Demon right here. Uh huh. He will opt to attack you now. I'm starting with my Heavy War Axe with my 12 attacks. 13, when you include. You are fatigued since we already had a, a, a little activation worth of combat here, so. True. Get some sixes here, Dave. Hitting on sixes, getting only one. I need a six to save this. I did not get a six. All right, so we're taking a toughness point off on our old veteran on Tyrannosaur. Now, I will stomp attack you. Yes, quick feet, let's go. On six is nothing. All right, my feet so fast. Are you gonna attack me though? Yeah, okay. Fatigued veteran on Tyrannosaur attacks back. I'm gonna start with my stomp attack. Oh, double sixes, that's Double sixes, two sixes on my stomp attack. Therefore, my defense roll is four plus. I make them both. Oh, all right. I need to do a point of damage here. I really do. Otherwise, you gotta roll that morale. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so I still have crushing jaws. Tired dinosaur tries to bite you. Let's go. Need sixes. No, tired dinosaur misses with his chompers. But I still have a power spear. We're not quite done yet. <laughs> power spear. Thrust. Nothing. Nada. Backing up a second. We both have fear. So you may not have won the, the combat. So now I have counted as three damage I caused. And I caused two with my fear. So you still need to make this morale roll. Hold on. Hold on. I am fearless. What so does not that mean? So I get plus one to morale tests. So I've got a quality of three plus on my veteran. I'm getting a plus one. As long as I don't roll a one, I will not become incapacitated with fear. All right, okay. passed. That's me, Brent. I am done activating all of my stuff. Now. Yeah, you've done three units worth of stuff. Yes. So my gators are gonna do what's called a missile strafe. So we're, we're strafing as you do in competitive online games, but firing rockets all the same while. Three rocket pods attacks against Soul Demon. Quality of four up. So one rocket's attacking you there, and it is AP2. Which brings me to defense four, which I fail. Hey, Gator missile pod, so good. Nah, uh, I'm shooting the, the bloods. The Blood Warriors? But why did you change your mind? It was such a good plan. I remembered that my rockets are a blast weapon and therefore better against a large <laughs> mass of units. That's true. That I is got, a better choice. I got two dice to roll here. I'm probably just gonna miss with both of them anyway. Four up. Yep, miss with both of them anyway. It, it, that, that rocket could have been going anywhere because really it went nowhere. <laughs> okay. Does it feel bad to be right? Sometimes. <laughs> Got my five geckos over there, and they have surprisingly good pistols with surprisingly poor aim. So five geckos are shooting at those blood demons. And, oh, wow, three of them hit. So three defense, AP4, I don't get it, but sixes always succeed, sixes. therefore I need sixes. That's right. <laughs> nope, nothing. All right, the geckos with their little pistols did surprising damage to this unit of demons. And they're holding a victory point. Look at those little geckos, I love them. Uh, the last thing I wanna do is use this unit of five Saurian Guardians. Saurian Guardians. I forgive them. Charge. 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 Okay. Are you sure you wanna do this? Yes. Because I get to attack back. 
Yeah, you're you're all tired from killing all of those raptors. Really? Yeah. Okay. You're you're fatigued. Tempting the dice. But gone? these are fresh guardians out for vengeance. They're elite, so each of them get two attack with their big old hammers. So, because of your predator special rule that you have on your guardians, your sixes equal additional rolls to hit. Good call. All right, exploding sixes. All right, three more, so nine coming at you at AP2. Okay. Which I get one. Okay. That means all of the blood warriors are gone, and there's one damage taken on my harbinger. No okay. More. Okay. And all that time spent painting these blood warriors, I'm going to tell Dan, and I'm going to get his reaction. I'm pissed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Did they do anything? Yes, they did. Sorry. They took out the raptors. So it... <laughs> you know and they, they looked good doing it. That's they true. They looked real good doing it. I got, I got a little bit of revenge on those demons. I still need to be careful, and I can't just be careless with all the stuff that I'm doing. I got to point this chaos in a very specific direction. Yeah. Okay. So now, harbinger of death. Yes. And war. Okay. What's this ability? It's called the symbol of war. Okay. And it's like because I'm commanding this army, I have this special trait that allows me to do this. Okay. Yes. Two dice. I need four pluses for this to activate. I get one four plus. For each success, you take three hits at AP2. Okay. So I'm a defense of three. So I need five ups on these three. Nope. Okay. So now for his regular attacks. His Great Flame Gauntlet, which is six attacks. I'm hitting on sixes again because I'm fatigued. And I get two sixes, and these are at AP4. Okay. So I need sixes. Okay, so these guys die. Wow. Huh. That was a fatigued round. Yeah, I don't, I, after this game, I'm going to read that little rule that you got there. A little special ability. <laughs> We'll talk about that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. There is this uh, <laughs> special ability on my Harbinger of War. He pulls out some special rule out of nowhere. The, the, the symbol of war. He does have actually a lot more units than me left on the battlefield. I did get to kill uh, 10 blood demons on that side of the board. So as much as that was a very chaotic turn, still in the fight, still a lot of dinosaurs left. Beginning of turn three, in this round, we're gonna be attacking with our soul demon. That's right. Okay, I, th I think my Tyrannosaur can survive one more turn of this. Really? Uh, maybe. Maybe, okay. All so, right. what I'm gonna do is move him because we're not engaged just yet. I'll move him over here. Oh. So that I can contest this objective as well as attack you. Yeah. Yes. I am going to do the close combat version of it. I, if you don't mind putting him face to face and just so to... I get three inches of, of consolidation, yes. so there yes. we go. There I'll we just go. use that to face you so that our stompers can be a fair fight. That's right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Stomp battle. So, two different options, okay? Option number one, I can move in onto the objective, contest it, and fire at you with my massive cannon, which is 12 attacks at AP4, uh -huh. and not give you a chance to attack me back should you live. Option number two, 18 attacks, close combat. 12 with my axe, six with my stomp. Chances are better that I actually take you out, but it's a risk, because if I don't take you out, you get a chance to attack me back. Yeah, oh, I'd charge you anyway, but no, I you charge You charge me, right? You said, yeah, okay. exactly. I think the close combat actually is the best choice for you, so I'm ready, you would I'm say prepared. That. You would I've, say that. Uh, look, we went on a little journey with this uh, harbinger of war. <laughs> yeah, we did. But I found my balance again, yeah. <laughs> and I'm ready for you to attack the leader of my army with this giant monstrosity. Okay. Let's go. All right. 13 attacks because I'm charging. Quality roll. Three plus. Looking for threes. Okay, missing with five. Okay. Missing with six, actually. It's so sad that I just get the, the default deductible, the default save. I did get two saves. Yeah, it's too much. Six stomp attacks headed your way. I can deal with these. I need three pluses here. 
and I get five. Okay. This uh, this matters. Oh, only one went through. Yes, only one. You live. Uh, okay. Okay. So I've got I've got two toughness points remaining. You're gonna attack me back? What do you think, audience? Should I fight back? Thumbs up in the in the YouTube video if you think I should attack back with my Tyrannosaur. Log your votes now. Okay, I'm attacking back. Uh, your, your votes have been have been seen and heard. Tyrannosaur attacks back. We're starting with Stomp. Stomp to Stomp. Okay. Yep. All right. Two Stomps at AP2. My defense is now four plus. Make one, one goes through. I've still got my crushing jaws. Quality three up. I need five. Good two. Two go through. Okay, well we got that spear, you know? We got that spear. Never forget about that. One. Alright, one at AP one, I believe. Defense three plus, I fail. Let's roll our D3s over here with our fear abilities. Alright, here we go. Oh, get three. Okay. Yeah. You you have won that round of combat. I need to take a morale test. Fearless gives you plus one to your roll. That's right. So I need to not roll a one. Okay. You're fine. Tyrannosaur is still in the fight. Whew. You know what, Brent? That was close. That was close. I just realized something. What'd you realize? I left my objective. Uh huh. At the end of this turn, you're now going to be on it, and I won't be. Therefore, you're going to take it from me. Oh, we're very close to three inches, huh? But I'm going to take this away from you, so it kind of balances. Well, we're going to contest it. Okay. So that was a high stakes combat. We're moving right to the next high stakes combat. Okay. Um, I have recently learned that this thing that came in on turn two. Harbinger of War? Harbinger of War. Very big boy, very big boy. Um, so we're taking him seriously. I'm using my first activation to try to put some damage on him. He's got five wounds left, is he that does. right? He has five. His tough is now five. Okay. I'm not gonna let you try to get a, a first charge off. <laughs> no, he's just gonna die. <laughs> That's right. If you don't kill me, he's going to kill you. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, you're right. Let's yes. do it. Okay. Three gators charge in against the Harbinger of War. Ooh, that looks good. Does it? That green and that red looks so good together. <sighs> it's almost like Christmas. We could call like a little truce over here and just have that look cool. Um, I lied. I'm attacking. I did this right thought. Okay. I've got six power claws. And they have an AP of one each, so it's six flaws coming at you. Ooh, five go through, that's an AP of one. Looking for three pluses here. Two go through. All right. I'm now down to three. Tough left. Okay, I still got my bashing attacks. Yes. I'm angry at that Harbinger now. I'm bashing, bashing. Yeah. <laughs> Harbinger of War rolling his defense. Two plus one goes through. Okay. Is that is that it? Unfortunately, yes. Do okay. what you gotta do. Uh, okay. Symbol of war. Rolling two dice. Needing four plus on both. It's a good thing. I don't get any. Really? No, nope, I don't get it. Really? Hold plus. on. Let me look at that. Yeah, that's that and a that and a one and a two and a nothing. It's amazing how a dice roll can just change your whole attitude. Today is a good day. I, I got a great feeling about today. Great flame gauntlet. Oh. That is six attacks, and my quality is two, and only four go through. Okay. But that is AP four. Come on, sixes. <gasps> Three sixes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a dice roll can just change your whole day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shouldn't All have right. happened. So one of my units took a wound. You took three wounds this combat. So I gotta make a morale because I'm half or less tough left over from my six that I started at. But also, yeah, but also, yeah, I, I won the combat. Yep. Now I am fear, so I get to add D3 to this. So I only caused one, right? One damage. Oh, you have fear? I do. Okay, yeah, add three D3. So three wounds. How many did I inflict on you? Uh, only one. So no, no, no. How many did you inflict on me? Sorry. Three. So no, we're now tied? We're tied. Nobody won that combat. Okay. Evens. Stalemate. Evens. Yep. Yes. Now it is your activation. I'm going to move forward with my 
Chariot. My cannon chariot. Chariot next? Okay. All right. Yeah. You're right. So I'm going to go this way. It's going to move six. Hmm. Let's move in this direction. And fire <laughs> at those okay. geckos. Uh, the geckos will form a shield wall with their energy shields, making them plus one to hit, minus one to hit. It's harder to hit by one. Yes. Yeah. I normally hit on quality four, but these are only hitting on fives, and I miss both. Uh, the cannon misses. That's it. Okay. <laughs> geckos, geckos are going to try to shoot the harbinger. So these are their stupid little pistols with these geckos with their terrible aim. <laughs> Geckos are hitting on fives here against the Harbinger of War. That's a six, that's a one. Okay, so one save at minus four. Okay, so I get a six for my uh, defense. And I make it! All right. Uh, they're geckos. They should be. They're geckos, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They did their job in avoiding a cannon barrage. Yeah. Yes, this is, uh, this is accurate. Okay, uh, you've got one last thing to do. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going. I'm not going to attack your gators. That feels like a silly thing to do. Yeah, it makes more sense for me to attack your geckos. Why? Uh, because then they can't shoot me with their very scary, scary pistol rending weapons. I okay. Want that to yeah. Hey, if you want to attack my geckos, go for it. Because I think your gators are actually going to kill me, even though they're fatigued. You're going to get lucky with your dice. It's going to be like a bunch of sixes everywhere. It's going to be a six party. And then that fight's been going, going just surprisingly well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I don't want to tempt the dice gods. Right here. All right. I am fatigued. Yes. So with my Furious, I get seven, but I only hit you on sixes. Two. Okay. I'm rolling two saves on my geckos. I need sixes. Wow. One defensive save on my gecko wow. and one dead. Are you going to attack me back? Um, Dave? Yes. Yes. I hate to do this. You hate to do it? But this is a different activation. Your symbol of war has recharged. And this, look how, well, look at what a good sportsmanship uh, I'm showing here. This is the third of three things happening in three. Your symbol of war, as my understanding of the rules, is that your symbol of war may be utilized before my geckos get a chance to okay. answer back. Well, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm only doing it because you yep. want it. Yep. Yes. Look, okay. We've had our differences about we, this we, symbol of war, yeah. but... Uh, I, I believe you when you say that. Okay. Look, you spent the points, you get to use it. That's the way it works. Symbol of war, needing four pluses, getting one. Need sixes. I got a six, I'm losing two more geckos. All right, here's the deal. My geckos have taken three wounds. Mm -hmm. We've got two of them left. I mean, they've got daggers. They might as well swing back. Might as well. Yeah. Got daggers kind of in little sheaths behind those energy shields. We need a five up to hit with the dagger. All right, one dagger hit coming at you, no AP. This is a two on my defense roll. And I get a one, I have one, one tough left. Oh no. <laughs> so you have one combat, Yes. but here's the deal. Geckos for some reason have fearless. They've got really good pistols and they're fearless. Despite being low quality, low defense troops, they are fearless. Plus one so, to your morale. Plus one to my morale, so that means I need a four up uh, to avoid routing. So if I get lower than a four, these are off the table routed. They're good. They're good. <laughs> They're just okay. toe to toe. All right, All right. so that, that's my last activation. Again, I'm done first. I actually think my Tyrannosaur cannot survive more combat with this thing. My Tyrannosaur is going to charge at your cannon chariot. We're gonna start off with the two impact hits from the power spear. Rolling defense four plus now okay. on my cannon chariot. One goes through. What else you got? I'm gonna do the jaws first. So six jaws attacks, three ups to hit. So only six is there. So four go through. Okay. That means I'm down to one tough left. Okay, I want, I want to finish you with the stomp. I don't want to have to jab again with my spear. I want to finish you with the stomp. Uh, three go through, that is an AP of two. Well, then I need fives on my defense rolls. I get two with one left. It looks like that actually destroys me. You've destroyed. I destroyed. The cannon chariot. Okay. You're, you're done? I, I, I'm done. So Long I can do done. something I'm to just watching you, you kill All me. Right. That's what's happening right now. 
Audience, do you remember the sniper that got pinned in turn one? Well, he was idle in turn two, and in turn three, back in action. Gecko sniper. <laughs> Rushes forward 12 inches, coming out of cover. Uh, stupid missile pods shooting at the harbinger of war. Why, why are they stupid? Why, why the stu they're stupid? Because they've done nothing. They've done nothing this oh, game. Oh, okay. Four ups. Nope. See, they do nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't even why I, know why I bothered. Um, Is that it? No, these gators are remaining. All right. And I think we have to do it. I have to do the next group of gators charging in. These are power knuckles. Why are you attacking him? Because I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> what did he ever do to you? Uh, it's, it's, it's called the mark of war. <laughs> Symbol of war. Okay, so that's my last activation of the turn. Are you sure? That's my last activation. They're, they're charging and attacking. I'm okay. sure about that. Yes. Should I do the bashes first or the power knuckles? Power knuckles is funnier. Okay, so four hits at AP two for the power knuckles. I need four pluses to live with my defense. Mm -hmm. uh, that is statistical, but this is death. You know, from the very beginning, I liked those gators with power knuckles. I thought they were pretty cool. That's it. That's turn three, man. Yeah. Wow. You, the tides are turning. I only have one model left. I think you can take any of the four objectives you want next turn. Well, turn three was lucky for the Saurian star host, I'll tell you that for free. That, uh, that was a good turn right there. The dice were on my side. <laughs> ah, turn three. That was a complete 180. Like, I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, I ended up killing two of his remaining three units. He's just got that one big demon left. You know, there's only one thing left. That Tyrannosaur cannot win. This is the final round, ladies and gentlemen. And this is where fate meets destiny. This is the plan. Soul Demon is gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna do it as I explain it. He's activating, okay. he's flying over here. Uh -huh. He's gonna be attacking your Tyrannosaur He's on this objective. I'm That's in danger. Danger, danger. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, look, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stomp on your glory, but does he have fly? I'm uh, just kidding. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did make me think there, because you know I, I don't know the rules. So here, I'm going to attack you with 13 attacks because I have furious, and now I'm going to roll for this attack. Uh huh. He's yes. pretty furious. He's going to be hitting you. There is no detriment to his roll right now. Therefore, he's hitting you on threes. Uh huh. Let's see, that's six. Okay. At AP4. All right. My defense needs a six. Not enough sixes. Not enough sixes. <laughs> All right. The Tyrannosaur is gone. And gone. that's the turn. And we consolidate three inches away, looking at you through this archway. What are you going to do? Okay. Missile pods. All right. We're on turn four. I have three objectives. Dave has one. Um, I could spend the next 20 minutes seeing if I could take pot shots to maybe, you know, take him off the board. But he'd still have an objective even if I did that. True. So I'm willing to travel yeah. in the future with you. Yeah. And go to that point in time. All right. <laughs> Good. You know what? I got to say, though. That was a fantastic game. For real. That was fantastic. For real. Very good game, Dave. Absolute Epic. pleasure. Epic handshake. I think I told you this before, but I like my colors that I used on the geckos. I like my colors that I used on the gators. The saurians I wasn't so sure on. So the fact that as your last move, you took my last saurian off the table, you know what, I'm okay with that. It's just <laughs> the best dinosaurs remaining. I'm glad I can assist with that victory. And plus the spiked lizard, he's there too. Right, he, can, yeah. he watched. 
Yes. He enjoyed the show. He fired some rockets and nothing the whole game. So that's that was true. pretty good. Yes, there was a lot of devastation that happened. You know, I'm completely satisfied with the death and destruction that I witnessed. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Especially this with the Blood Warriors. This was incredible. This was Blood Warriors, very bloody fight over here. Wow. All of the Raptors dead, all the Blood Warriors dead. The Harbinger, immediate retaliation on yes. those Guardians. Yes. Just there, they did not get to celebrate that victory over the Blood. No. The the, the Blood Demons. No. Yeah. Like my Hounds went up there first, right? And you like took them out so easily. I'm like, uh oh. But then I thought, wait, I got something more coming in. So they're gonna go on the objective yeah. and I'm gonna take it back. That wormhole offers a lot of potential because it's, it's clear those are demons are very good on the charge. Yes. The fact that they can come out of nowhere and just run into combat. Yes. Nice. All right, thus concludes actually the first battle report that I've ever filmed and played. I mean, the board is beautiful, all of the models were beautiful, so thanks to One Page Rules for sponsoring the event and putting out such amazing models. Thanks to Monument Hobbies for putting out amazing paints that make these models look even better. Thanks to Dave for playing a fun game with me. Thanks to Cinecore Media for shooting all this, and thanks to Dan for painting those demons. Truly, this was a beautiful looking game and a surprisingly fun and competitive game. So, big success. Thank you all so much for watching. Maybe we'll do this again sometime. <laughs>